Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we are changing the battery on the Flipper Zero. Rabbit Lab sent this battery to me for free and uh, I just said that I would do a video on how to change it. And on the back here, they do have a QR code for the instructions of how to do so. The Flipper Zero came out in 20 of 2020 for the Kickstarter and then it was released in 2022, I believe. Here being 2025, my Flipper Zero is going on three years old and I have used it with heavy use since I've had it. I would say that now is probably a good time to change the battery on your Flipper Zero. I'm not a battery chemist by any means, but I do know that lithium batteries over a certain period of time and they start to lose their overall capacity to hold a charge. Pretty much we're gonna start with the back here. I use my wife's Cricut to cut out this little uh, kind of uh, template that I have here. And if you're wondering why it looks so uh, fabric-y, that's because it is. It is a Condora, Condora, Condora. Anyways, and I use your Cricut to cut it out and it actually just starts kind of like, like jean material almost. It just kind of just frays here and there, but I like it. I got the uh, fabric from Amazon. I will put a link in the description below for anybody that is interested in that. This is the second time that I have taken apart my Flipper Zero. And I will say that when you get the back cover off, be very, very, very careful not to pull it off too fast. You will break your I button pins, which I have actually done on my Flipper Zero already. So I had to go back and re-solder them on or re-solder one of them on. If you're gonna do this, just go a lot slower than you would with anything else. So there are four screws in total and I'm gonna have to peel back my little material here. And we are gonna power the Flipper Zero off settings and then we're gonna go down to power and then we're gonna go to power off and power off. Four screws removed, then gently start taking off the back cover. Now usually a plastic spatula is gonna be the best thing to use. I fix it kit did not come with one. We've got that portion off right there. So like I said, when I took mine apart like many, many years ago, I actually broke off my I button pin right there. Make sure that you do not do that to yours. Uh, it still works. I just added some solder joints to it and then it just sits in there, but not that I use the I button feature that often, but just be aware of that, that when you do take this apart, that area right there is super easy to destroy. All right, so now that I have the back cover off, I went ahead and screwed the I button area right here. And then I use my tweezers to gently lift up and push back the little tabs right here. So you have one, two, three, four, and then five. Once you get these two and then these two on this side moved over, then this will lift up as is. Just be careful with that ribbon right there. You could remove that ribbon if you want to. So once you're inside here now, we got this piece lifted up. There's another screw right here. We got to remove. So once you have it opened up and we got this little back piece moved over, there are two more screws you got to watch out for. Uh, one is going to be right here, right there, and then the other one be right by the I button area, right down here. And once we have those two screws removed, we could then lift up, pull out the entire main Flipper Zero area. So what we'll do now is we're going to turn it over and we're going to just unplug the battery. The battery pins are right here. Let's go ahead and slide that guy off. There we go. Once that's removed, you can then just take a flat pair of tweezers or a little plastic pry bar, and then you're just gonna gently pry up just between the USB-C portion and this plastic housing right here. Just gently pop that, and then it's gonna kind of give way. So you're gonna gently pry up from the USB-C side, and then you're gonna also pry up from the sub gigahertz antenna side. Just real gently, and probably be best to un undo your ribbon there. I didn't, do, I, didn't, I didn't undo mine, I left it in place, but now I can just take my tweezers here and the battery is glued in place against the plastic housing there. I'm just going to start working my battery out and you're going to need to also kind of bend this portion right here back a little bit because it has these two little prongs that hold the battery in place. Just gently bend that back. Don't go too far because you want to break your the, the actual plastic piece there. If you have to then you can start using your tweezers like I said to separate the battery adhesive away from the plastic housing. Do this very gently. One, you don't want to pierce the battery, and two, you don't want to break your plastic port there. Okay, there we have it. I, again, I just used my, I have this flat pair of tweezers right here that I use. 
you can see those. Um, a plastic little wedge pry bar would probably be better, but we got that battery off. There is the original battery right there. And then here is the new Rabbit Lavish battery right there. Now that we have all that done and out of the way, we can put back in the new Rabbit Labs battery. Now you could use some adhesive tape too, like a 3M type tape or something similar. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to on this one because after being inside of here, it's so tight fitted that I don't think that battery is really going anywhere. So it's just lining up these little plastic pins. They're kind of like these little areas right here, one over here, and making sure that everything lines up as it was before you took it apart and then just giving it a gentle squeeze to kind of seat everything back in its proper place. And then now we can take our battery here. We're gonna wrap it and wind it right here as the other one came out. We're gonna go ahead and put that guy back in there as it was. Got the battery seated back in there. Uh, the cable right here, I just used my flat features again. I just kind of pushed it against the plastic, white plastic housing back into that kind of tan housing right there. And then that was that. And then from here, I can then go ahead and put back in board here. And I just used the tweezers again there. I kind of put one side against the block little tab and I kind of just pushed it and it slid down the PCB onto it. So hopefully I can get this in the camera for you guys. There you go, just like that. There you go. So we got these five little pieces back in place. And we're gonna put back on a little lanyard holder where it goes. All right, so you can see here that I got my lanyard and my SD cards to pull back into place. Pop him back in there. I'm sure there's a lot better videos out there of how to do this than mine. In typical J-O-A-T fashion, we're just gonna kind of go with it and learn as we go. We're gonna kind of push everything down as it needs to go. And now I can put back in those two screws. So one, the short one came out on the sub gig side over here by this antenna and then the longer one came out over here on this side give it a gentle little tug make sure that it is in there as it needs to be and then we can just kind of push that board back down and i think what i'm going to do since i have this whole thing turn, torn apart i want to go ahead and re-solder on properly my gp um my i button pin so we'll do that real quick all right, to do so, we're gonna be using a hot air workstation. I'm gonna grab this guy right here just so I can use it to clean up these pens. We got all that put back together now. And like I said, I had broken my eye button pens like a long time ago. I just went ahead and used my hot air workstation to restart of those. Hopefully they're all in place now. So I can take those two smaller screws again and I can remount that I button slash IR board back into its place. And I'm just gonna put this back on. Hopefully everything lines up as it should with those I button pins. Nice, nice, like it. Before I screw it all back together, I'm gonna make sure that everything works right. So uh, insert my SD card there, are off, and then we're gonna go reboot. Okay, and let's do a few things here to make sure that we can read sub gigs. Just go to frequency scan or analyzer. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we are receiving sub gigs. That's good. Let's get out of there. Let's go to RFID. I can read RFID. Let's do infrared. We can see infrared there being red. So infrared works and I don't have an eye button on me. We're gonna leave that alone. Um, so everything looks like it works. So now I can go ahead and put back on those four back screws and I'm gonna be using the ones that Rabbit Lab sent since I destroyed one of my screws. All right, so that is how you replace your Flipper Zero battery with the Rabbit Labs battery. And you are, once you do that, then you're good for another three to four years, probably. I hope that you found this video informative. I really didn't get too far the first time I took apart my Flipper Zero. Uh, so this is the time that I actually like went all the way down to the two shell piece things. Not that difficult. Um, the main thing is just being careful with those I button pins like, like we discussed. But I was able to fix those and restart them back into place. I do have an I button somewhere. So tomorrow I'll go and find it and test it out. And I do want to say thank you Rabbit Labs for sending this battery out to me uh, to replace and then to showcase here on this channel. I greatly appreciate your support and all that y'all guys do. You guys are awesome. If you guys are looking for a battery for 
for your Flipper Zero and or H4M or H2, go check out Rabbit Labs. I'll put a link in the description below for all their stuff. Definitely, definitely awesome people there, and they have a great company, and they offer a ton of really cool products. So go check them out, and if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below, like, subscribe, do that fun stuff, and or if you want, you can also join my Discord, where I have a great community building, and there's a lot of guys on there that know a lot more than I do, and we are there to learn and have a great time. So thank you all, and I will see you guys in the next video.